to do again a dangerous subject. He said, I'm a little bit tired, but, you know, I have to show the people where they are doing in Vila Cruzeiro with the child. So while Bruno and his friends watched Brazil play in the World Cup, Jim Lopez was leaving his office in town. He fitted himself up with a hidden camera and made his way into the favela to begin filming. Police later told Bruno and his family the full horrific details of what happened next. Okay. Details that some listeners are likely to find distressing. It was like this. Please. A guy came to him, a gang member, and said, Don't I know you? And my father told him, No, 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 I don't think so. And the guy said back, No, 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 I know you, I know you. And then he got a gun and shot him in the knee. This is my bag. The game I was getting ready to leave. I said, yeah, yeah. Over and it was off my bag. You know where it went. Had to film with us. Uh, show us on the TV. Selling drugs. I recognize this is the guys from belongs to TV Global. This guy's Tim Lopez. And he shot again. I think his his foot to guarantee that he could not run. And uh, to show all the people, these are what happened with guys who try to mess with our work. But the drug dealers hadn't finished with Lopez, who was by then bleeding heavily. They called their leader a criminal named Elias Mandela, hoping to get out who they got. He to me, a look of order. My father, he identified himself by the government. I'm here just to do a, a story about the Where do you want to go with this video? I just want my phone stuff on you. And people told me Are you sure? Back, yeah. Uh, is this for a movie that we were I'm in? I'm not trying to make a movie. It's not funny. Very hard. And no, no, no. Do you it's want just trying to sleep. With your life. Well, I don't know if you're tweaking, Mary. I don't know how why you've been up so many days. I don't know what's going on. But my tooth looked very sore. I'm under the weather. I'm feeling sick. Do you want to go to the hospital? No, I don't need a hospital. You need to go get checked by a hospital. Okay. You don't need to tell me. I just came back from the hospital. You're saying it's, the lights are off. It's late. The radio is still black. Would you close the door? I'm getting rather cold. You're not. Do you want me to call someone, Ben? I don't know. Whoever you want me to call, I don't... Call for you? To get you checked? You're saying that? Who do you want me to be checked by, then? Like, every eye, day. MK Ultra people, what do you want? How does it hurt to hear the, the torture man? Yeah, you can't be too hard on torture people. I'm just sitting on a couch quietly. Well, it's like now you are. But I was just sound asleep a few minutes ago. I and I got up to eat some tofu. She's a very non-violent hey, food. You and and you're stuff. mad at me that I'm eating no, because you think women mean. should be Don't starved. Don't be offensive. Don't say that word mad. Anybody that says that word, they're mad. You, will you then quite... I read. I just like to have a piece, that's all. Is it I read about that? Is there anything normal that's not normal about that? How about I just call a, like a domestic violence hotline and talk to them about why my boyfriend is acting okay, like a maniac right now? I don't like you using 911 like a toy, Ben. It's a very serious thing. And the way. You're, it's serious, right? Their leader was caught and imprisoned for 28 years. Bruno Quintella followed his father's footsteps into journalism, but for many years. So, do you want this hotline, Ben? It's 1 800. Oh, you don't have your phone yet? I don't know where it is. I just saw it in your hand. awarded Brazil's top human rights prize in 2012. His son Bruno has recently completed a documentary about his father. My dad.
Blanchard was speaking to Bruno Pucella. The Sunker Boss is still here. Simon, have the authorities managed to get any sort of a grip on the developments? Why don't you find your phone? I just wanted it for safety, but... Where are you going tonight? Do you want me to try calling your phone with my phone so you can locate it? So I have to take you there? Okay, pretty fine. If you'd like to, yeah. Did you see my purse the right way? Did you move things around a bit? Again and hide it from me. I didn't hide it. I just I put all my stuff over there. You must have set it on my basket or something. Oh. Uh, but just, my I, purse was right there. Oh, I don't know. I was just piling all my stuff in the corner. Well, I will try to hide things more perfectly in the future. So, um, have you got a key to get back in this building? I don't know where I lost it. My laundry basket. You should be able to find it in there. Well, could you find it so that way I can sleep whenever you allow me to sleep? More than just like two hours at a time? You were up late last night walking to the doctors in the middle of the night. And um, I did not get a good night of sleep last night due to your toothache. You had more sleep than I did. But nevertheless, you woke me up in the middle of the night you. several yeah. times. Excuse me? You woke me up here, and then I woke up with a toothache, and I was like, you still up? And you're like, I was like, can you take me to the hospital since you asked me? I know you, know you have a toothache. And I went twice with you to the hospital in Portland, right where you said there was a couple guys getting shot. And I was like, oh, I had bad anxiety, remember? And I was like, you can't pay for my health. It's not worth it. And you were like saying, well, I got $1,500 to do with my teeth. I was like, oh, but that doesn't pay for my health. I was scared when you told me about that. I mean, I was in a place where I would Well, I'm asking about tonight, would I be allowed to have 
How much sleep? Oh, you go to sleep. Am I allowed to sleep Can't tonight? Can I to sleep too? You don't have to leave. <sighs> okay, hold I on. I didn't know you wanted to go to sleep. Yes. That's cool. That's all. I, that's why I was asking when you woke me up. I was like, I just want to sleep. Well, I was going to sleep, but you wanted to chew me out for about an hour for having a snack. So, I mean, just keep chewing me out for as long as you want. And whenever you're done, maybe I'll get some rest. I've got my earplugs in, so... Are you going on a walk?